I've been waiting on you. I've been waiting on you to even out all these wrongs for you left us alone. I carry with me the bones for she stashed away keys so I say it's so strong. Excuse me as my energy sweeps the room. Like saints wrapped in brown skins, we walk around like we're not next to Ken. America, I've grown with my hand on my heart, north arrow pointing your flag marked attention if I dare didn't say one nation under God. In my throat is a ball that chokes, that tricks me into sharp breaths and weeps. Writers in the Schools is a program of Seattle Arts and Lectures where we hire professional writers, poets, prose writers, comics writers to go into the public schools throughout the Puget Sound region. Butterflies, or 11 responses to the phrase, you're so quiet. One. Oh really? I hadn't noticed. So the Youth Poet Laureate program was started four years ago. WITS writers Matt Gano and Aaron Counts thought, wouldn't it be cool if, in addition to the State Poet Laureate we have and the City Poet Laureate we have, that we could have a Youth Poet Laureate as well. An elegance drops and breaks into thousands of irreparable shards. It is Our Youth Poet Laureate for 2018-19 is Azura Tayapshi. <laughs> to represent the city, like I was just overcome with that like joy and that honor and I felt really dizzy, not gonna lie. Um. So today we are going to write love poems. Real poetry is a party. And I love that idea of all this wildness inside your head. When Kathleen works with them, she brings an experience where they really get into their feelings and their thoughts and the poetry they write is on a whole nother dimension. For you, I would pull a broken heart out of your chest. You are like a windy tornado. I would give up Mars altogether for you, but no one else. Meatballs, meatballs, meatballs. You make them, I eat them. You baseball. That is one of the really fun things about working with young students is that they are not self-conscious. They are happy to share their work. I dreamed a dream of you eating a football. I think the most important thing we do, and I believe this really strongly, is access their imaginations because I feel like that's a muscle you have to use over and over again. And if you don't, you lose it. We're really investing in a city of literate, beautiful writers from kindergarten all the way up through adulthood and really considering writing and literacy as this lifelong journey. America, America, a place that is unknown, like history. There are many secrets. I think the very last day you made a simile or a metaphor with your writing, like my writing is like something. What would you say if you could make one today? How do you feel about your writing? Honestly, that's actually a great question. Honestly, how I feel about my writing is that it can, it can make and it can break people. It can get them in their feelings because when I write, it's really deep. And people said they care. And it tells you a whole story about what I'm talking about. History starts now. So why not take a chance? Because you could be that person that finally took that stand. This year we are working in 27 public schools throughout the Puget Sound region and Seattle Children's to serve over 6,000 students directly through our in-schools classroom time and through our Spotlight Author Visits program. Because I understand that some of you might be refugees in this room. I was too. Maybe I still am. We got to bring the author Viet Thanh Nguyen to Nathan Hale High School. We got to have a Nathan Hale student, Wee Wee Lee, share her poem on stage that evening at Benaroya. Before he went out into the black night, got in his black car, and drove home alone. I come from Taiwan. I've only been in America for two years. Since coming to America, I've learned that sometimes it's very much worth it to be brave and do something that people might not like, but it's gonna change things. 
We want to send a message that stories matter and young people's voices matter and reading matters and doing that, all those things together as a community matters. I want every kid to have a chance to fall in love with writing and find their own voice and have the world make more sense for them. I've got mountain ranges and river valleys and sparkling archipelagos all coiled in my sinew and ready to explode. I fell in love with a courage who was little more than another type of complacency. But baby, I was born from Phoenix Flame. <laughs>